the two ZE I took is one of the most innovative Inuit sculptors working today. When he started carving, his style was much more typical of what you'd find in Arctic Quebec. So fairly realistic, fairly detailed. And he would get frustrated if the objects did not look exactly the way he had intended them to, which tended to be very realistic. One day, he was working on a human form and just could not get it to look exactly the way that he wanted. So he brought it to the local cooperative where they absolutely loved the piece and really encouraged him to continue working in a much more abstract style. So an earlier example of his style is something like this piece here. It's a lot more figural than things that he'll end up making. You can see the very interesting and distinct uh, use of faces that he makes and contrasting colors using caribou antler. Eventually, he goes even more abstract than this and begins to incorporate many, many different kinds of materials into his work. Matuzzi is very careful about giving titles to his works that give a sense of the narrative that he's trying to convey. The shaman here, whose face you can see at the front, is really imagining in this piece that he is able to fly to another location. Traditionally, Inuit believed that shaman could transport themselves either by flying or transforming into other animals. And so these traditional beliefs are something that Matuzzi is really using here, but in a sort of playful way, into a more spiritual dimension rather than necessarily a physical place. Matuzzi very forcefully in his art and in speaking about his art describes himself as an artist uh, and very firmly believes that art is art and that Inuit should have the same freedom to explore different kinds of art forms or different styles like what he's doing and not be penned in by a more traditional or historic view of what Inuit art is or is not supposed to be. He's exploring old stories with a very new and personal vision, having one foot in much more traditional culture and one foot in the new contemporary art styles and with a very, very clear view to the future of the art.